Welcome to Joe Conti's Garage. It's pretty awesome to be here. I, uh, I'm looking around here and he did some fine work. This is some great RSP progressionship. So shout out, go to, to Joe Conti, check out his channel. Anyway, with this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean, take apart, re-oil your front differential for your Traxxas Slash 4x4. This will also work for the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 and for you rally owners, it'll work for you too. So let's get to that. Also, special thanks go out to Blake Stark for being my hands for this video. I really appreciate it. So let's get to it. Hello, I'm Taylor Samala. I'm Blake. And we're gonna get started on this video here for you. Like we said at the beginning, we're gonna be taking apart the front differentials on this Traxxas Slash 110th model. We're gonna be doing the front first, so let's get to it. So to start the process, we're gonna need to remove four screws. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. Just flip the car over and remove the linkage here for the steering column. All right, so the next step is to pull the front off from the body itself, which you may take, make a couple of wiggles there to get them out. And if the drive line pops out like that, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, just let the spin set that aside. All right, now that we have the front off, uh, next up, next spot is to take off the front bumper, which there are. It's held on by two screws on top, three screws on bottom. With those screws removed, all you gotta do is pull the front bumper off. All right, so after you've uh, removed the bumper, you'll have a blue plate here, and then you'll also have a 2.5 or 2.0 millimeter screw to pull out of there. This one's in. Got the top shot of that. Our 2.0 screw removed. All that's left to do is let the a arms pull out and swing out. We're gonna have a total of four screws that hold on the differential to the shock tower itself, one, two, three, four. All right, so with all four of those screws removed, the diff housing should just come right out of the bottom of it. All right, so after removing the lot stuff, remove these two screws to release the diff housing from the bottom. So after you after you got everything out, you can remove is axles here from the diff itself, and they're held on by a 1.5 millimeter screw. Next thing to do is remove the C-hub gear that connects to the differential, and that is a 1.5 millimeter. With the C-hub gear out, go ahead and set that aside. There should be two bearings that are held in there, and there should be one bearing on, on the front of the diff and one bearing on the rear of the diff. All right, so with that, you have the diff in hand. Remove the, the four screws that are on the top of the diff. And All right, with the four screws out, time to remove the top of the diff. And the seal looks, it looks in good shape too. Move those two sun gears in the middle as well. So now with all your pieces out, it's a good time to take those to the, to the sink and wash them all out nice and clean. All right, now that you have everything clean, and it's time to put uh, the oil in and put things back together. Today we're gonna be using 80K for the front. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna take the, uh, the end that hooks to the C-hub gear that uh, eventually goes to the drive line. We're gonna put that inside the diff housing. All right, next thing you need to do, you're gonna take that uh, the bar and you're gonna put the two planetary gears. Uh, take the two gears, put on the inside pin, and they're gonna just, it should slide right in there. It should be um, grooves in the diff housing that allow you to put it in there. And it should slide right in. All right, so with those in there, you should be able to twist the end there and you should be able to see the gears moving. That means that you did it right. Next up, we're gonna take the uh, oil, and when you're putting it in, so when you put it in, use a little bit of time and make sure you spin the gears, and you should be able to see inside there, there'll be bubbles that are coming up from the top, and those ones, and you don't have any bubbles inside there as well. So just keep filling it up, and it's important not to fill it up a whole bunch. All right, so what your seal put on, and hopefully it wasn't broken, if it is broke, you probably should replace that. Okay, so taking the shortest gear, put it in the center of the main diff gear. It has a rubber seal on it. Yes, with a rubber seal. That one will go face down, and when it's all hooked up together, those gears will in turn turn the nine or sun gears on the inside, and it makes the whole thing turn. With your gears all lined up inside, now it's time to line up your screws and tighten it in a star pattern. 
and then that is with a 2.0 millimeter. Yeah. All right. So now that I have that screwed on, it's time to put the bearing on, and you can tell which bearing to put on because the front bearing has a bigger bearing on it. All right. So now take your diff housing, and there should be two bearings that go in the main end of it. And after that, take the, the remaining gear and put it inside with the inside facing out. That way your C-Hub gear can lock onto that. All right, next is to put the diff actually in the housing. And it only goes one way. Now comes the real messy part. Where depending on what you prefer to use, you can use white lithium or you can actually use red and tacky. And red and tacky gets really messy. There's two ways we'll show that this happen. A, putting your hand, which is messy. And then two, you drop it in the diff housing and then you spin the gear. All right, so it's all greased up. Time to put your diff housing back together. Start by taking the piece and they should just couple back together. Make sure there's no gaps on either side. This is a good time to actually take your C-Hub gear and put it right back on the end of your differential there. And that is being put in by a 1.5 millimeter hex. Okay, now comes the fun part of putting the diff housing back in. With the bottom part laid out, it should click right into there. All right, so with, diff, with the diff housing in, it's a good idea to flip your car over and put in the screws that attach the, the diff housing to the bottom of the bumper. So with the diff housing in, those two screws in, next thing you're going to need to attach the CVDs right here that are held on by a 1.5 rub screw. Okay, after you have the diff housing on there, uh, it's, it's on the bottom part of the diff on, then you're going to take your pins and put them in the AR slots there, keep those from ARs from falling off. Next you're going to take your um, blue clip and put that on the back right there, keeping those pins from sliding out and take your 2.0 all right now now it comes to uh, putting the diff housing into the shock tower hope they hold on by those four screws right there all right next thing to do is to put the bumper back on and just slide it in there so you feel it kind of snug in place and that's held on by there's three on the bottom and two on top so with your front end on, time to attach it on by two screws on top are the four screws here. One, two, and there's one right here, and then on the side. All right, that's it for this video. I really appreciate you guys taking time to watch it. I hope this helped you out. This was the end of part one. Part two will be taking apart the rear of this uh, Traxxas Slash four-wheel four -wheel drive. As always, I'm Taylor Tomla, and thanks to my hand mime over here, Blake Stark. And have a good day and, and have fun fashion and crap. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. taking the time to watch them and share them if you haven't already. So make sure you tick up, check out these awesome little playlists over here, some awesome stuff that I've done on my previous channels. And you know, take a look over here in this button, push it, subscribe to my channel, enable notifications so that way you are the first to know the videos are out. Also, if you touch here, you can dance around like a marionette.